Okay, oh, it's a baking day today, uh, Saturday, in the midst of the coronavirus, and I've got an emergency run. Now, my nan, she's 98, would you believe? Um, very, very fond of her, extremely close. Now, I'm the nearest to her. She's actually two towns away from me, whereas my brother and my dad live in Stroud in Gloucester, which is two hours away, and my sister lives on the south coast, near Brighton, which is about an hour and 20 minutes away. Uh, so it's on me now, she needs some medication, she needs some eye wipes because she's got really bad eyes, macular degeneration and uh, always get some treats as well, some like chocolate buns and some raspberry trifle, she loves that, cheers her up, obviously she's feeling really isolated at the moment because no one can visit her apart from me, now I turn up in my full leathers, my helmet on and my neck thing pulled up over my nose I mean, that is extremely safe. That's why I feel confident I'm not going to carry anything to her. Should I have even have caught it? I mean, I've been isolated like everybody else. So, it's on me to uh, do this little emergency run for her. So, uh, let's go. always getting in the way aren't they? Um, I can judge because I was a prolific cyclist. I still cycle every couple of days. I just don't like them on the road. They get in the way and I'm not ever so guilty when I'm on my bicycle. <laughs> oh dear, right more pressing matters. Uh, I need to find the garage services because I'm running out of petrol. Yeah, especially motorbikes. Yeah, and... Yeah, I know, I know. Especially because there's loads of, loads of scooters now, loads of people. Yes. And they, yeah. <laughs> no worries, see you later. Yeah, so I don't know how it is where you are, but uh, in the UK, certainly in Surrey, um, there's lots of people out walking and riding bicycles, seeing a couple of motorbikes, uh, quite a lot of cars, and obviously, as in Surrey as always, as I've mentioned before in my videos, there's hardly any ever police. I've never been called speeding in Surrey, and I've had fast bikes and sports cars. So, uh, there's a very little police presence, you get away with murder, literally. Um, but, most people, it's good to see that they're spending time apart, walking along. So, most people are doing their best, really. I think you've got to get out and about somewhat. Everybody's doing exercises. I certainly cycle twice a day. I've got a swimming pool, which is fortunate for me. So, I dabble in that a couple of times as well. Happy days. Right, there we are. Tesco's Express, one of the UK's largest companies. By the way, did you realise the NHS is the fifth largest company in terms of number of staff? Quite amazing, good old NHS. So uh, this is most unusual. There's no queue whatsoever outside the Tesco Express. You get large queues at a large supermarket. What's going on there? Flipping on. Good grief, nutters! It's the frustration to Corona. Right, I need to get some, my nan some chocolates, some trifles, and some goodies. Oh, well, here we are at my nan's place. No dramas. It's a lovely place to be fair. And if you're going to retire, it's not a bad place. It's got a canal down there and people sit on the grass banks. That's the community centre. Uh, two bedroom kind of apartment sort of style. Very nice indeed. So we're content with her uh, here. I'm going to take my levers off. Well, a lot off. I believe I know it's going to be hot in there too. I hope she's got the heating off. Right, it's good she's upstairs because she tries to go down the stairs and upstairs 
every day, once or twice, which uh, keeps our thighs working. Oh, right, got all the goodies in here. Oh, door's closed. Oh, bugger. <laughs> I've forgotten my key. Usually it's open. And of course, because she's deaf, you can't hear the doorbell ringing. It's up fetched it about 20 times. I'm going to have to ring her. <laughs> Hi then, hey dear. I don't suppose you want to see a 98 year old woman. She's fantastic though, uh, one of my inspirations in life. Uh, it's just finally to point out um, take care out there, be sensible, uh, and most importantly, give your friends, relatives, parents, aunts and uncles, and grandparents if you've got them, give them a call or go and visit them but keep back a bit. People are feeling very, very lonely, so do what you can to support them through this time. Other than that, let's hope you get back on the saddle very soon in anger, riding the bikes as they're meant to be ridden. Take care.